Good morning, friends. We're going to take a trip down to the basement. Oh, it's been a bananas of a day, but what day isn't, right? Excuse the state of my basement. I've had to oh, take my mason jars and a whole bunch of stuff out of... We put our... God, that scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> I took a bunch of my mason jars out of some rubber maids I have here. I plan on doing a can and kick this new year, but we're having a plumbing problem here. I'll show you. The guy just ran home to get a tool. This elbow for the upstairs toilet is plugged and he has to cut it and he has to be able to seal it back together and he said it's going to be messy, which is disgusting, I know, but it's, you know, it is what it is. So I was thinking I need to find something to catch it. So I thought I'd use those Rubbermaids um, and then just destroy them. <laughs> but then after I entered all of my jars, well, not all of them, I thought, why the heck didn't I think about bringing one of my outside garbage cans in? We can hose it off and it's just for garbage anyways. So that's what I did. It's just one of our garbage cans. He'll be home or come back. I told I said, I'll make you lunch if you come back. Make sure you come back. It's for our upstairs toilet. Our, sorry about that light. That's his light. But um, I'm going to go try to sneak in my morning coffee. I did my morning run like I usually do. Let me turn you around here. My morning run like I usually do. But last night we were having toilet troubles. Like we had to keep plunging it. And we can't have that in a house full of kids. We just, we have to have our, our toilet running. <laughs> oh, I just have to, you know. Uh, anyway, so we had to keep plunging it every time, you know, you try to flush it. It'd go down slow, slow, but it just, it wouldn't flush properly. And I'm thinking, I'll be darned if I go through a weekend with a toilet like that. There's no way I can do it. I would... Oh, I, I would go bananas. Anyways, I got I just put it on Facebook. Anybody know of a reliable, good plumber in the area? And gave me this guy's name. I called him, and he's chock full. And then he gave me his father's name, who was a plumber, who's retired, who lives here, not too far away, uh, just like 10 minutes away. And uh, he came over this morning. It's only quarter after, no, quarter after nine. Uh, so he's here. He's my knight in shining armor today. So Steve Isles, thank you so much. We really, really need this. <laughs> but he said the upstairs bathroom's fine. The dishwasher, the wash machine's all fine. It's just the upstairs toilet, which we didn't know. You know, we thought, oh my gosh, you know, what's going to go on? But we just had our septic pumped uh, the end of August. So we knew it wasn't that, but... And it's not going to cost an arm and a leg. Of course, uh, well, pay the man, of course. He's, you know, he's doing a, a fantastic job. But anyways, that's my dilemma for this morning. Reality check. <laughs> I need my, uh, <laughs> I need my uh, toilet going. I, I keep thinking of the National Lampoons with Eddie outside empty in the septic. Shitter is full. Excuse my language, but, you know. Yeah, Mr. Mays is still upstairs sleeping. The babies have been, you know, um, visits and events and things like that. The kids have gone to school. It's Friday. I want to do those craft basket surprise. I thought I'd be in, ambitious and try to bring that Christmas tree downstairs, the one that Santa Claus comes to. But I don't think that'll be happening today because all of this is going on. I'm still going to do the fun stuff. But if I can get this sorted before lunchtime, I'll be sitting pretty. I will be sitting pretty with a tiara on. Anyways, sitting on my throne. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to make my coffee. I'm going to try to knock it back before he gets back. And um, then we can start our day uh, on, a, on a fresh flush. There you go. All right, guys, I'll be back in a little bit. Yeah, I think my morning calls for a piece of birthday cake and a coffee.
Shutterstock Music. that snap crackle and pop of the fire I love that noise well I'm gonna sweep up this mess I'm gonna throw those in for a little while and sweep up this mess and then we'll have a nice comfy cozy fire in the kitchen today oh update guys <laughs> my hands are frozen <laughs> I just, I'll show you the fire. It's pumping a, a, the heat now. I haven't swept there yet, but oh well. So the plumber guy came and cut the pipe and put a new piece in, but we opened the lid to our septic and it needs to be pumped out again. So I have a big truck coming here to do that today. So we had to dig and lift the lid off and stuff, but after I was coming in, my neighbor next door, she's going for a an appointment or something and her car doors were frozen shut that happens on the van and I have to just give it a yank 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 anyways she's hey. on the elderly elderly side so there's Maze say hi Maze anyways long story short we got her all hi. I got her all scraped off and doors opened and hi. off she went so now I'm here warming my hands hi. warming my toes what are you doing Bob you're warming your toes too? Yes. Feels good, doesn't it? Toasty, toasty. Oh, that is a big one. Mmm. I had to uh, go down to the local little store here because they have an ATM machine. And I stopped by the post office, mailed off a couple of those cards from the ladies yesterday, and stopped to check my regular mailbox, and I got a book. Oh, my phone's ringing just a minute. Oh, that was just my husband <laughs> giving him the update. Yeah, a book came. If you don't know, I like to read. <laughs> I love to read. I just haven't had time to read lately. And I like to listen to audiobooks, but I really love paperback books. And uh, yes, I do like paranormal adult romance books. Yes, I do. And Cressley Cole is one of my tops for sure. I have this whole, I've read the whole series so far. I have, there's two books, the two newest books I haven't read because I've been so busy. I ordered this one and I ordered the other one. I forget which one comes first. So I got some reading to catch up on and my characters and stuff like that. Uh, it's like my guilty pleasure in regards to my, oh, my screen's upside down. In regards to my entertainment and <laughs> things like that. Oh, yes. Well, I got my wash machine ready to go. I got my dishwasher ready to go. I have a toilet ready to flush. And I have sinks to clean, but I can't do it until that tank gets pumped. And it's driving me crazy. The house is warm, though. I'm nice and toasty now. We've got lots of food to eat. It's going to be a good day. It's, I'm choosing happy today. This is one of those days that you got to choose happy. And I am happy happy as a clam well since I can't clean besides the straightening and vacuuming which I've already done and I can't cook or I could but we have lots of leftovers so that's what I'm doing for supper I can't read my book that I just got in the mail because the other one that hasn't come I need to read first I'm gonna read one of these books so I need Maze to open one Maze can you come over and open one of these presents for me? If you didn't catch, this is catch one of my older videos. This is something we do kind of like for Advent or whatever. I wrap up 24 used books that we have. I didn't go buy new books uh, at the end of the season. And they're in holiday books of any holiday this time of year. And we read it together as a family. But since today is an off day, an upside down day, we're reading the book early. Aren't we, Mace? Yes. Ooh, what one? I can't wait to see. Oh my goodness. It's Dora. It's Dora. Oh, we got to read Dora. Dora Christmas. Yeah, Dora Christmas. So we're going to sit down and read this right now. Yes. What do you say, Maze? Good idea? Yes. All right. Okay. I'll be back, guys. 
All right. The guy's here. It's the guy we always have. Well, we've only ever had to do this before. <laughs> Charlie. He's He has a great big old track I'll bring out to show you. But we have a septic tank there. He has to put his big hose. Ooh, that sounds nasty. <laughs> his big track hose. Oh, Tracy, come on. This is a family channel. <laughs> See if I can get him dragging it out. Oh, my kitchen is so nicey, toasty, warm. He's an older fella. I think it's a family business, but see that big hose? It's nasty, I know, guys, but if you're grown folks watching this, you know, you know. You gotta, I'm not on a, a town system, right? Like, I, I'm, I'm not, uh, well, we're not. People around me are not. Um, it would cost an absolute arm and a leg and another arm and a leg to do that. Maybe someday we'll do that, but we're not doing that right now. So when we get this done and everything cleared out, uh, we're going to have a good talk with the kids and uh, just to make sure to be responsible. You know, I don't know if that's what the problem is, but uh, yeah, conserving and you know, that, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I'm rambling. <laughs> I don't really know what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> but right now, I know. My other knight in shining armor is here, and he's here to save the day. Thank you, Charlie, from Charlie Septic. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm just going to show you the truck that he, you know, a septic truck. If you're not <laughs> used to it. Oh, i got to go right outside. A fire can get so hot, you don't even need to get right close to the stove and it starts to... Like, I'm going to throw another piece of wood in there. Let me put you down. But I can feel it from standing over here by the table. It's hot. But the, the kitchen is cozy. It's, there's a point where a fire can make your kitchen too hot. Now, if I was in here cooking, if I had food to cook for supper tonight, I would absolutely cook it on this wood stove because... Why not, right? Ah. The ash just flew off. Ah. Why not? Because you can boil potatoes on here just as you can. You can bake stuff. You can fry stuff. And everything, so. Yeah. Just load her up again. The kids should be home in about an hour. And there's Mr. Mays and his little braid still. You're looking some handsome, Mays. <laughs> All right. All right. It's 134 and it's oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. My water's working now. The dishwasher's rocking and rolling. My washing machine's filling up. And, uh,. I'm gonna grab a quick bite to eat because I just I just couldn't eat while all this was going on. I just couldn't. A quick snack, and then we're gonna be rolling out those craft baskets. So I'll be back in a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, it's one of those snap your fingers kind of times. Yeah. All right, ta-da! So these are the craft baskets. If you didn't see that video, I'll try to remember to link it below. Uh, they're just Christmas craft baskets of rinky-dink things, but no biggie. And those boxes they're in are old orange crates that, you know, we buy the Christmas clementines every year anyway. So, repurpose, right? Reuse, reduce, reuse, recycle. So, got those, and I picked up this movie. It was 10 bucks. I mean, Mally and Mazai might be a bit old for it, but if they, I'm going to put it on just in the background after their crafts. 69 minutes and we'll just put it in so yeah now I'm gonna get some water maze I'm gonna get some water heated up on the wood stove he seems to really like those funny erasers <laughs> he keeps taking them out of all the jars silly boy there I got some uh, water in the kettle heating up when I say I got the kettle on I got the kettle on so 
it'll take it won't take too long to heat up because the stove is hot and it's really just like a stove top I'm not joking I'm gonna come over in my tea cabinet and if you don't know I absolutely love teacups and no these are not all my teacups <laughs> I have so many teacups I can't help myself and I know I'm not like a don't look like a teacup kind of lady I think they're absolutely absolutely beautiful every single one I think there's little witches and fairies that live in every one I'll have to tell you a story about every single one if I take a teacup out and have a cup of tea I'm chit-chatting with somebody so and yeah it goes all the way back <laughs> and up in my attic I have a problem guys but I don't mind having this problem <laughs> I have the teacups all over now somewhere's up here I think I have a Christmas teapot so let me see what I can find I got some doozies I love them all every each and every one of them especially that one Nova Scotia that's the Nova Scotian tartan if you're not aware and where's oh this one this one was my grandmother's when she passed I got a teacup and I absolutely love it whenever I miss my Grammy and when I have a cup of tea with her I use this teacup I just randomly picked some different teacups there's some really really good ones in there <laughs> I don't know if I feel like having those out right now because the kids are going to be excited about these boxes and I need them to take very gentle care of them so that'll be for a proper tea party but this is a hot chocolate craft party so not that I want these ones to get broken I certainly do not but you know what I'm saying this is a teacup or teapot it's very simple it's just a white one with a little uh, holly berries and stuff on it but I'm gonna fill this with the hot water uh, heat up on you do heat up on the wood stove and I'll put the little powdered hot chocolate in each cup and uh, I'll just pour the hot water out of the teapot it just makes it a little more fancy fancy but these girls just wanted to come out and dance today so I thought sure the more the merrier and I find every teacup as silly and as crazy as I sound has a personality and no I am not joking about that <laughs> anyways I just rinsed them off not that they're dirty but just being in the cupboard I'm just gonna save myself a little time this is the hot chocolate I picked up the other day carnation hot chocolate with a little marshmallow <coughs> and um, I'm just gonna get the powder. Woo. Woo. The powder ready. Usually I do like four big teaspoons in a mug, but these are little teacups, so I'll just put two. Oh, and I just thought I got some of these the other day. Didn't break them out yet. Let me just put you down. Oh, you can see that fire is just to pump it over there. Looks good, feels good. It really does. It gives you that feeling like your first taste of a nice warm soup. If you catch my drift. Got these little tiny candy canes. Box of them. I think I'm just going to hang them like that. I know they're not Christmassy teacups, but they like to dress up too. Just like my tables like to dress up with the tablecloths. When I say I like to tickle my imagination, I really do. So, I live in a magical house. <laughs> oh, boy. There, they can dip it in their hot chocolate. It's not too big like it's a big sugar rush. I mean, it's going to be sugary enough, with the hot chocolate and the candy cane. But that just kicks it up to another level, doesn't it? Love a Leela. Right, the kids just got home from school oh, and they checked out their craft cup? baskets. Yeah, just a minute. Darlings. And I have no. So these are your craft boxes. They're not for listen kids. But girls. There we're gonna be doing those down here on this table that you're not bringing them upstairs. What if there's like Mom, say why are there three notepads? Well just I extra know, notepads. I know what these oh Boxes. These are orange boxes. They are orange boxes, but yeah. isn't that nice? Yeah. 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 I yeah. Love them. A good way to reuse Glitter. reuse them. Mm -hmm. So you guys can do some crafts here, and then we're gonna have some hot chocolate in a little while. Hot chocolate. But 
listen, we got to be on our best behavior. Okay. Okay. Now that box at the end of the table is just my box, so you guys don't get digging yes. into that, okay? If there's like any extra things. Yeah, like, it's just, just yeah. leave it there. Yeah, like, probably someday we'll let us play with maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. 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 I wonder, what's this? You gotta open it and see. A paper? Can they open this? Can you open that it's eraser right. you've been playing with all day? Oh, it's, it's, paper. it's just an eraser, Mish. Hold oh, on, it's just paper. Yeah, well, it comes with stickers and stamps. Eraser? What? Oh, it does? Oh! Make your own bracelets. Ooh, la la. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, is there a top on this? I don't know. I don't think I'm not. Oh! These go to any special sets? Or or they just I just cut them. The I cut ink. them so everybody would have some. It's the ink to make it in. Okay, alright. It's just here, there's only this. Oh, it's three of them. Well, you can put your own whatever oh, stickers on it that you want. Got it open. I know. That's why I want. Oh, I yes. love yeah. you Well, with that, Mish, I'm going to give you a paper plate so you don't get paint on the tablecloth. Let me put you guys down so I can get these guys settled. I'm just about to put some more wood in the fire and then they're going to have some hot chocolate. I just need to grab the wood. Bring the teacups over. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. Picture perfect. Now I took that blue kettle off of the uh, the top part of the, you know, like the main part of the stove because it was boiling. Yeah, we'll give them another some more, like tomorrow or something. Oh, I don't want to be done with that. Okay. Then I got the teapot. Ooh, do you want a gem on it? I rinsed that out earlier. I'm going to use an oven mitt to hold that kettle, though, because that's hot. Oh, wait, no, no. Which one? Here it comes. So I'm just going to put hot water in the kettle. We'll see. That's hot. They're out there singing their French songs. Hey, you girls, pick up the mess. I'm going to bring out some hot chocolate. There. Perfect, perfect. So we'll go over and have some hot chocolate ourselves in just a minute. All right, 
It is. I'm not in minus three out right now. <laughs> oh boy. We're going on our afternoon run. Can you hear that snow crunching under my feet? When it's so cold, it bites you. All right, guys. Things are starting to wind down for the day. Uh, yeah, my dad got two cards for me in the mail. I just opened them. Uh, one is from Julie. In the front. Oh, there's a nice little note in here. Julie. From New York. Whoa. I love your cards. I haven't shown the kids yet because they always take them and run off and admire the pictures and we make up stories about the covers of cards and like this one would be, this is hanging on a door at a church or a house or you know what I mean, at a, you know, barn or whatever. And we make up little stories and stuff like that. And that's where this card came from. <laughs> We're silly like that. But thank you so much, Julie. Very pretty. Very, I love it. It says, a festive time, a special time, a time to laugh and share. No matter how your deck, you deck the halls, hope joy is in the air. Awesome. Hope joy is in the air. Yes, there is joy in the air. I'm kind of sleepy right now if you can't tell. But yeah, really, really joyful, happy, healthy. Family, life, here, there, and everywhere, for sure. Another card is, oh, it doesn't say on the front. Wishing peace and plenty. Oh! Oh, it has a thing written on the back. I'll read it in a second. From Brenda. There's a nice little note in here. I'll read it. And I'm just telling you, ladies, you'll be getting a card from me. Well, it'll have to wait till Monday now because it's Friday. In the mail, for sure. Look at this fish on the front. There's a little uh, a little write-up on it. It says, threatened in Nova Scotia. The cusk is, the, is a mostly solitary cod-like fish of the Ling family. It is found in moderately deep waters with rough rocky bottoms. It spawns in the spring and summer and its young live at the surface until they're about two inches long and can travel to deeper waters. Since the 1970s, cusk population have declined by over 95%, a trend seen in a number of bottom living fish species. Threats to cusk include direct fishing and by catching long line fishing. Maintaining a diversity of fish species helps maintain the overall health of the ocean's community. So important. So, so important. You can help buy seafood from Atlantic Canada's first community supported fishery at www.offthehookcsf.ca and learn about the work. Uh, I don't know how you say this, and I don't want to butcher it. It's the name, it, an Aboriginal Environmental Respect Organization. Um, it's doing, is doing with youth to promote understanding of issues facing cusk and other species at risk. I'll put that website down below. I love getting cards like this too, because uh, there's always a certain message and uh, advocacy to species or sometimes it's people or communities or countries or whatever. Um, I didn't know about this, so now, you know, you guys know a little bit more about this. But I'll put the website to this group in my description box. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Brenda. Yes, you'll get a card too. So yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it off here. It's been an emotional roller coaster today. Nothing bad, like I, I wasn't angry, just like, spazzing out a little bit, you know, I didn't want to go into the weekend without <laughs> run, running water. Well, we could get water in, we just couldn't get it out, like I said. But, yeah, but when I got home from picking up uh, the little ones and picking up these cards, my husband was here and he brought me a surprise. He brought me some Chinese food. So we sat down together, the kids had already eaten, and we had Chinese food together in the midst of all this chaos. and. 
the kids didn't even bother us. Well, they didn't bother us. They were bothering each other, but <laughs> that's, uh, that's to be expected. So what a great way to uh, kick off the weekend. So peace, love, and happiness today and every day. And please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. Come back tomorrow, Saturday. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure we'll be digging into those craft baskets. That's what they'll be wanting to do first thing off the bat. But, uh, yeah, it'll be a fun weekend. So swing back tomorrow, and I'll put the kettle on the wood stove because it's supposed to be a cold one again. And, uh, yeah, the kettle will be there waiting for you. All right, guys. Have a good evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.